So, have you seen Satya Nadella's tweet about Matter Gen? I mean, even for a tech CEO, he seemed pretty excited, right? Yeah. Calling it a paradigm shift in material design. And honestly, he may be onto something with this new AI Microsoft has developed. Definitely not just hype. It's causing a lot of buzz in the material science world for good reasons. Yeah, I can see why. This AI is designed to do something we haven't really been able to do before. Oh, well. And what is that? Design new materials from scratch. Okay, I'm intrigued now. We've had tools for a while to analyze existing materials, right? What exactly makes Matergen different? Well, think about it like this. Traditionally, finding a new material with specific properties has been like searching for a needle in a haystack. Oh, yeah. I've heard that analogy. Scientists would experiment with different combinations, just hoping to stumble upon something groundbreaking. Yeah, a very time-consuming process and often serendipitous. Exactly, but Marajan flips the script. Instead of reacting to what we find, we can now be proactive. How so? We can tell Matergen what properties we need. Say we need a material that's both incredibly strong and lightweight, and it can actually generate a blueprint for that material. Okay, wow. So how does it do that? Does it have like some magical formula tucked away? Well, it's not magic, but it's pretty close. Matergen was trained on a massive data set of over 600,000 known stable materials, drawing information from sources like the Materials Project Database. Oh, okay. So, it's kind of like those AI generators creating images from text prompts, learning from existing data to create something new? Yeah, exactly. So, Matagen has learned the fundamental building blocks of materials and can use that knowledge to create its own combinations. So, it's not just analyzing what's already out there. It's actually like creating something new. Precisely. The technique behind it is called diffusion modeling. Interesting. You can imagine starting with a blurry image and slowly bringing it into focus. Okay, yeah. Diffusion modeling works similarly. It begins with a random arrangement of atoms and then refines them step by step up until a clear and stable material structure emerges. Okay, so is there any proof that this actually works? Can it create materials that can exist in the real world? Here's the really exciting part. Researchers have already synthesized one of the materials predicted in a lab. Really? And get this, the properties of that synthesized material were strikingly close to what the AI predicted. So it's more than a theoretical concept. We're seeing tangible results. This feels like a major breakthrough. Absolutely. It is a major breakthrough. Though we're talking about creating materials that we once thought were impossible. Thing is that this could revolutionize entire industries like biodegradable plastics too. Right. <laughs> or super efficient solar panels that could transform clean energy. Exactly. It sounds like Matagen is taking us from being passive observers of the material world to becoming architects of its future. Yeah. What kind of future are we looking at? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? Yeah, we're on the verge of a materials revolution. It's hard to even grasp the full potential of what we might be able to achieve with this. It's pretty mind-blowing, yeah. It is. Imagine needing a material for a specific application, like let's say building a spacecraft that can withstand those extreme conditions of deep space, right? With matter. Look it. With Matagen, you could input the necessary criteria, extreme temperature, resistance, radiation shielding, lightweight but durable and so on. And the AI could generate a blueprint for a material that fits those exact needs. So instead of spending years, maybe even decades trying to discover that material through trial and error, we could have it designed for us in a fraction of the time. That's the promise of Matagen. What? And it's not limited to just one specific field. Right. We could see this impacting everything from medicine to construction to energy production, anything that you can think of. But you mentioned other AI tools being used in material science. How does Matagen compare to those existing tools? Okay, there are existing tools like the Cedar database, the Open Quantum Materials database and others are used for analyzing and understanding existing materials. But Matagen takes a different approach. 
Okay, it's not limited to just analyzing what we already know, right? It can create entirely new materials that have never even existed before. Wow, so it's like moving from being historians of materials to becoming the architects of the future of materials. Instead of just studying what's already there, we can now actively design and create the materials we need to solve specific problems and achieve specific goals. Exactly, that's a great way to put it. It's a fundamental shift in how we approach material science. Right. And it has the potential to unlock innovations that we can't even fully comprehend yet. It's all pretty mind blowing to be honest. Yeah, but with all this talk of potential and possibilities, it's important to also consider the practicality. How far away are we from seeing these incredible materials become a reality in our everyday lives? That's a great question, yeah. And while it's still early days, the progress is encouraging. The fact that we've already been able to synthesize and material predicted by Matagen in a lab is a huge step forward. So we're not just talking about some far off futuristic concept. There's a real possibility we could see some of these materials developed and implemented within our lifetimes. Right, absolutely. And as research progresses and the technology continues to evolve, its pace of development is only going to accelerate. This is also fascinating, but I'm curious with all this talk about the amazing things that matter, things it can do. Are there any limitations to this technology? Are there things it can't do or things we need to be cautious about? That's a crucial point. Yeah. While the potential of Matogen is immense, it's important to remember that it's still a tool. And like any tool, it has its limitations. What kind of limitations? For one, the quality of the output depends on the quality of the input matter. Matagen relies on these vast data sets of existing materials information. If that data is incomplete or biased, it could affect the materials the AI designs. Okay, so it's not a magic bullet that can simply create any material. We can imagine, right? It's still bound by the limits of our current understanding of material science. Exactly. And another important consideration is the potential for unexpected or unintended consequences. Oh, like what? Designing a new material is one thing, but understanding its full range of properties and potential impacts on the environment and human health is another. Sure. So just like any powerful technology, we need to proceed with caution and ensure that we're using it responsibly and ethically. Absolutely. We need to be mindful of the potential risks as well as the rewards. All right. That means conducting thorough testing and assessments to understand the long-term implications of any new materials we create. Okay. So it's not just about what we can create, but about making sure that what we create is safe, sustainable and ultimately beneficial for humanity and the planet. It's about striking a balance between innovation and responsibility. The future of material science is bright, but we need to navigate it wisely. But as we wrap up our deep dive into Matagen, I want to leave our listeners with the thought, okay, what's that? If you had access to Matagen, what kind of material would you design? What problem would you solve? What innovation would you spark? That's a great question to ponder. It really highlights the power and potential of this technology. We've only scratched the surface of what's possible and it's up to all of us to imagine and create the future we want to see. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey into the world of Matagen. We hope you found it as fascinating as we did. Until next time, have a great week. <laughs>